this is Kristen from Garden Exploration and I just wanted to show you my garden closet. I just got it organized so I thought while it's all neat I'll give you a little tour. All right so I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay so here we go. So first of all let me tell you about this light. I had an extra grow light so I hung it up on the curtain rod and had a, the cord, I don't know if you can see it, is going around the top of the room down to a plug down there. So I needed some good light in here and this is really helpful. So let's see, on the, on the wall here I've got my garden hats and oh, this actually belongs on the other side. I have my extra uh, plant um, basket hangers over there. And then on the top shelf here, oh, this got knocked over. Got extra spray bottles, squirt bottles, a watering pitcher. This is um, like uh, ropes and hangers and clips and things. And these are my flower, flower arranging supplies. One of my extra big pots, my orchid pot a couple extra orchid pots, and a little herb thing I keep meaning to use. Here, let me, let me move this over a little bit. And those uh, glass bulbs that you can put in plants to water them while you're on vacation. <laughs> uh, my um, battery for my lawnmower so it doesn't freeze outside in the garage. And I have a heating mat there that I can use for starting seeds. Then on the next shelf, I have various pots and planters. My daughter gave me these and they have wicks. She decided she didn't want them anymore. And I've used some of the tubs for some other things, but I, I do want to try those out. And these are some planters I got from the Dollar Tree. that are a really nice, cute little window box size. These are my two inch pots that I use for planting succulents and other starts. And then I've got some of my round pots, some of my square pots that I'm just, I just saved from other things. These are my decorative pots and my clay pots over here. And then on the next shelf here, oh here I've got some um, boxes that I used to use for my Etsy shop and um, but now I, I use them for making, uh, for putting under plants. They're like, here, I'll show you the size over here on my seed shelf. Uh, see the white box there, boxes there under the trays? So I'm using them to elevate my seed trays to get them closer to the lights. And then as the plants grow, I can remove them. I, as you can see, I use various other boxes and baskets and things. But, these are the extra ones for when I plant more seeds and I need to raise up more plants because I don't have the kind where you, of lights that you can change the level by how far you hang them. I suppose I could use um, zip ties and things like that, but this is just easier for me. All right, and then here I've got some various recycling uh, containers that I saved to use for planting. And then I've got coffee filters I use and paper bags I use for lining the planters so that if they have holes in the bottom so the soil doesn't go through. I've got a basket for my river stones that I use for making pebble trays and a plastic tablecloth to put on, on the table if I need it for when I'm potting. And then down here I've got more uh, leftover uh, containers that I could use and I've been saving those two liter bottles to make a rain gauge. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, some bigger um, pots that I'll be using. And these are some solar lights I just picked up, but it's still February. The ground is still hard, so I'm going to wait till the ground is softer to put those out in the yard. Uh, some more pebbles left over from a project. These are some stacking. Um, 
They make like a tower, some stacking pots that I am excited about trying out this year. I just got those at the Dollar Tree. And these are some more packages of pebbles that I use for topping some plants like my succulents. And these are some canna bulbs that I saved from last year that uh, hopefully they'll be okay. This is my first year trying that out. I, I probably should have wrapped them in newspaper or something, but they seem to be doing okay so far. So anyway, that is my my closet tour. So thank you so much. Oh, I should probably turn this light off over here. There's a little switch. Here we go. So I hope this little tour of my planting closet inspired you and um, happy planting. Happy gardening. All right, bye.